Subscribe to the channel if you want to know more about the human evolutionary tree of life or ancient inventions, archaeological discoveries, ancient structures, you name it. I cover it. So subscribe and click that bell icon. Since I announced that I was going to shift the focus of the channel to the hominids for the upcoming weeks, I got many requests to look into the supposed dragon man skull. And so much so that I actually decided to cover the subject today in this video. The skull is known under two different names, the Harbin Cranium and the Dragon Man Skull. It's proposed that this skull belongs to a new species, Homo longi, but there are many anthropologists that believe that the skull actually is a Denisovan. My name is Kaylee, and in today's video we're going to take a look into all that we know about Homo longi and the possibility of it being a new species of human or the possibility of it belonging to a Denisovan. So let's start with the discovery of the skull, because this didn't happen recently. Actually, it happened nearly a century ago, which is quite a long time ago. So all the way back in the 1930s, there was construction of a bridge in the Heilongjiang province of China, near the Harbin city. The Heilongjiang province is often called the Longjiang. This literally means Dragon River, and this is where the name Dragon Man comes from, and it's also why the species currently bears the name of Homo longi. The man who discovered the skull actually hid it in a well unbeknownst to the rest of the world, and when he was on his deathbed he finally revealed the location, therefore it was finally recovered in 2018 and subsequently analyzed. Part of the team that analyzed the skull was Xiong Ni from the Department of Paleomammalogy at the Chinese Academy of Sciences. He said that this was one of the most complete crania he had ever seen, an amazing discovery and it's also among the largest homo skulls ever found. The skull falls within the range of Neanderthal and Homo sapiens skulls that were found and it's quite a bit larger than the skulls of the Homo erectus, Homo naledi, Homo floresiensis and even bigger than some of the skulls of Homo heidelbergensis. This last fact was corroborated by paleoanthropologist Chris Stringer from the Natural History Museum of London, which I visited back in November. Beautiful museum, highly recommend going there. But he was also a member of the research team. The team that researched the skull estimated that it belonged to a man of approximately 50 years of age who lived somewhere between 146,000 and 296,000 years ago. 50 years of age at that time is incredibly old because we know that death rates, people died way earlier than they do in modern times. The researchers used sophisticated geometrical analysis, including strontium isotopic ratios and X-ray fluorescence dating methods, among others. And they were able to date for certain that the skull has to be at least 146,000 years old, placing it in the middle of the Pleistocene, which is known as one of the dynamic eras of migrations of archaic humans, including Homo sapiens. The cranial features are a mix of archaic and modern humans, large eye sockets and thick brow ridges like we see in Neanderthals, but the face itself looks like the bigger version of Homo sapiens with a brain size equal to that of modern humans. The cheekbones are flat and low with a shallow canine cavity. The face itself seems reduced and tucked under the brain case. These morphological details are critical for understanding the evolution of ho the Homo genus and the origins of us, Homo sapiens, and how they interbred with Denisovans and Neanderthals and how all of that had an effect on our evolution. According to Stringer, the skull has a very interesting combination of features. The morphology clearly shows that it's a distinct lineage originating from East Asia and not Neanderthal and it's not Homo sapiens. It is possible, however, that the Harbin cranium, or dragon man skull, whichever you prefer, is from a Denisovan that we looked at in length on the channel quite recently. Here you can see the thumbnail. Haven't seen that video? Click the card in the upper right corner. But it's unclear until DNA analysis is carried out. I hope they will be able to extract DNA from the skull to do a full analysis and cross-reference that with Denisovan DNA samples and Neanderthal DNA samples and Homo sapien DNA samples. 
It is a good contender for a Denisovan skull. According to the researchers, the cranium looks very similar to the Denisovan mandible that was discovered in China as well. Stringer believes that the Harbin cranium is most likely a Denisovan skull, the first one ever found if that is the case, and he does hope that DNA analysis will give us more answers, although that will be difficult on a 146,000 year old skull that has not been preserved in the perfect conditions. Stringers and others therefore weren't too pleased that the skull was actually published under a new official name. Homo longi. Many researchers do not want to name new species for a multitude of reasons, including the fact that DNA evidence shows that these different species <laughs> interbred like Denisovans with Neanderthals and Neanderthals with Homo sapiens. Therefore, the researchers actually prefer to refer to the different archaic humans as groups or lineages rather than distinct species. I've got this in my comments a lot that they're not different species and they are spoken about as being different species at the moment, but I personally see them more as different lineages. I personally think, and this is my hypothesis, so don't pin me on this, I see you in the comments, but I think that the skull could be a Denisovan Homo sapien hybrid, which could be the reason for it being distinctly different from both Neanderthals and Homo sapiens, but also similar enough. So far, we've not found a Denisovan skull, without reason of a doubt. But we've also never found a hybrid skull from Denisovans and Homo sapiens. So it is a possibility that this could be a hybrid. Homo longi has potential to be a hybridization of a Denisovan with a modern human, and therefore be seen as a different species, separate species, or, you know, different lineage, if you will, whatever floats your boat however you want me to talk about it, so I'll just use both. There is of course potential that it is indeed from a different lineage or different species and that Homo longi and Homo sapiens did encounter each other as well and interbred with each other back in the day. It's possible. We do know, without a doubt, that Homo longi is the closest relative ever discovered to us modern humans. They're closer to us than Neanderthals actually which up until now was our closest relative. And the fact that they have found that out just absolutely blows my mind. So now Homo longi is seen as the sister group of Homo sapiens, another lost relative that we are slowly uncovering more information about. The researchers have made this new human tree of life that you can see on the screen. And I would like to note that as you can see, Denisovans are not present on this reconstruction which could indeed point to Homo longi and Denisovans being the same species or lineage and, you know, originated from the same source maybe. It's all possible that they are closely related as well. The Harbin cranium or dragon man skull is suggested to belong to a third East Asian lineage and the estimated middle Pleistocene age places it as an Asian contemporary of the evolving Homo sapiens. Homo neanderthalensis and the enigmatic Denisovan lineages. So it could have lived there alongside them. They could indeed be a different species. So the next stages of research will have to give us more clues and hopefully bring new information to light. Could it indeed be an entirely new lineage of, or species? Or could it be the very first Denisovan skull ever found? Or as I hypothesized, could it be a Denisovan Homo sapiens hybrid? It's all possible. There's so many questions and I do really hope that they will be answered in the upcoming years because all this, all of this is extremely exciting to me. And yeah, I mean, Homo longi, who would have thought that the dragon man skull was a possible new species and bearing the name Homo longi. I'm really happy that I've made this video a couple months after a certain video that I uploaded the day before my birthday because the combination of that would have not been very great, I think. I'm still being called the mm-hmm lady. I've said it a couple times now. I refuse to say that particular word on the channel again. 
because uh, I don't want it to haunt me forever and ever and ever. So yeah, if you enjoyed watching, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you'd like to see more of these kind of videos and click that bell icon if you want to be notified every time I upload because I do the occasional live stream out of the blue. And otherwise you'd miss that. And then I see your comments saying, oh my God, I missed your live stream. I'm so sorry. And don't be sorry. You have a life. Live it. But uh, yeah, you, you just weren't notified because you didn't click that bell. Shame on you. If you haven't seen my previous videos yet, then click the card in the upper right corner or one of the links in the description down below, including my sources, people, sources, links down below, always. Click one of the videos in the end card if you want to keep watching and have no idea what to watch. I cater to you. And I would like to say a massive thank you to everyone supporting me and my work and the channel. It's incredibly appreciated and I'm extremely grateful for all my patrons and channel members. Thank you. Thank you so much. And homo longi. I feel like there, there, mm, it has a possibility for many, many jokes. I'm afraid for this comment section. And I'm not even at home while all of you are seeing this. I'm actually away for the evening and I'm in chat, but like half here on my phone before I'm having a good night. So um, be nice to each other. Leave good comments only. Thank you. I hope my moderators will clean everything up before I come back. <laughs> but oh my God, I, I can't ask them that. No. And also Malibu Pear. Let me live my life. Also, this is not an orchid. I bought it and I forgot what kind of plant it was. So I've been taking care of it. But it's not an orchid. I like it. I just have no idea what kind of plant it is. If you know, let me know in the comments down below. I would love to know what kind of plant I have in my house. At least it has good flowers. Happy with that. Homo longi. Okay, bye. Thank you.